different modeling technique inside cinema 4d first one we learn about spline modeling technique it's a easy one to understand for creating a spline model we have to create some basic spline primitives or object by using this panel option or you can create by using a create option a create menu and spline option first one is a freehand I can go over here and can draw it like this it's very easy to draw whenever you create any spline inside perspective view we can't get a perfect angle of that spline so when I rotate that you can see it's a little bit slanted over here so always recommend it that whenever you create any spline whenever you want to create any spline always use any orthographic view like a top front left or right I just delete this one I go to I press F2 to go orthography, orthographic view <coughs> now inside this top view I can draw a freehand spline you can see like this again I press F1 for perspective view now you can see it's perfectly on that grid so this you can create a very nice spline by using the orthographic view Ortho orthographic view to create spline I back to top view and inside this attribute manager I can see the property of this spline all things are same like a basic and coordinate but in we can see changes inside object option so here we can see the first option is called type I can click on this Bezier to linear so you can see the smoothness of that curve is change cubic akima b spline or bezier if you want to close this spline very easily you can close it just click on this close spline option and you can see it's close over there these things these all options are very important to create a smoothness of the object but right now we're not going to use it later on, later on i will tell you how to use this and how can we create better model by using the smoothness options whenever we finish creating any spline cinema 4d directly jump to the point option over here so you can modify it very easily i select on this move tool i select this point and easily i can move that point like this i can change this handle for a smoothness to just modify one side handle i can press shift and just change handle from one side if you want to add more point on this spline press ctrl and click over here to add more point on this spline I delete this spline to create another spline option I click over here the next thing was the Bezier one in Bezier option you can create a curve like this to create a spline you can press enter to finish it and for modification you can click on this point option select the point and you can modify same like a freehand option I did it this too next one is a b-spline option very smooth to create like this the same option over here like a close option and type of the interpolation I click on this object mode or model mode and I delete this spline from my object manager next one is linear a straight one you can't create curve by using this this is it just a straight line like this I click on this model option and I delete this by using this object manager the next thing cubic like this
delete next one akima you can see the smoothness of this line a little bit different than other one you can use any spline as per as your choice to create better model i click on this model mode and i click and read this spline too next one is a basic shapes some geometrical shape over here i can click on this arc you can see i creating an arc over here here you can see a little bit change over here type arc or sector or segment radius of this ring like this I keep it as a arc you can change the start angle of this arc end angle of this arc and plane for plane i have to press f1 so you can see the difference between plane right now in a z and x axis i can make it x and y or i can keep it as a y and z like this i keep it as a x y or x z okay again the same option for smoothness okay reverse actually change the starting point of this spline from here to here or here to here is depend on your start next one is a circle again you can see i press f2 to see it from different orthography view like this I can change the ellipse size ellipse I can make it an ellipse or a ring I can change the radius like this or radius like this if I keep it as a circle I can change the radius of all object in a one go I can the same option like a plane and reverse like other spline option next plane option is a helix okay for this we have to see four viewport so you can see over here i can go and change the start radius you can see it's look like a spring over here you can change the start angle like this end angle like this you can change it for numerical calculation i can directly type here like uh, 1000 multiplied by 5 and you can see it's a 5000 so for any numerical parameter you can create or modify any property by using uh, this small calculation options i can change the bias of this effect i can change the height of this helix like this and subdivision again for smoothness you can modify that see if i lace the subdivision you can see it look like a thread but when i increase that it look like a spring like this again you can change the plane like x y y z or x z next plane option is n side okay you can change the size of this n side or sides of this n size like this roundness of the edges so you can see it looks smoother you can change the radius of this roundness also like this the same thing available like a plane and reverse like other objects next one is rectangle you can see it from other views it's a very flat one you can change the width height and roundness of this rectangle like this next one is a star you can change the inner radius of this star 
outer radius of the star twist percentage of the star and a point of the star like this so I can create this type of nice object by the star option next one is a text very important to create titles motion graphics so I click on this text just click over here okay click on this text you can type whatever you want for a font you can click here to get more font whatever inst you install inside your computer all the font can we use it inside this option height of this file horizontal spacing and vertical spacing it's normally for two lines separate letters so you can see the each and every letter in a separate manner you can move that 